is it? I'm glad you asked. Is it Dean? No, but it is my shadow. We're so familiar with shadows, we take them for granted. They follow us around everywhere, don't they? And they form because light travels in a straight line past an object onto a wall or the ground or whatever. And shadows can be bigger than the real object, longer, wider, higher. Not always, though. Sometimes they're very close to the size of the real object. And they're usually roughly the same shape as the real object. For that reason, you should be able to tell what objects I'm bringing up to the light in a moment by looking at the shadows. Here's the first object. Are you ready for it? Watch this space. I'm bringing the object now between the light and the screen. Can you tell what it is? Well, of course you can. It's easy. It's a vegetable knife. Right, you are correct. One out of one. Here's another one. Maybe a little more difficult. Not too much more difficult, though. Once again, watch that space. Here's the object. What is it? Yes, it's a shoe. It's my favourite and also the dog's favourite as well. There it is, an old brown leather shoe. Here's object number three. They're getting a little more difficult. Watch the space once again and here it comes. What is it? Looks a bit strange from that angle, but if I turn it around, I'm sure you'll know that it is a hairbrush. And here comes object number four. This one is a little different from the others in that you can see through part of it. So it forms a shadow in some parts, but also light gets through in other parts. Watch the space once again, and here it comes. Can you tell? Oh, it's easy, isn't it? It's a pair of sunglasses. Okay, those were easy, weren't they? You can look at a shadow and tell what shape the original object is, right? Wrong. You can't always do that. And this next object is one that may just trick you. Watch the space. Well, there's the shadow. It's a square shadow, so the object must be square, right? Let's check it out. No, it's actually a triangle, a wooden triangle. That's strange, isn't it? Let's have another look at that. You sure it's a triangle? Well, we'll look at the shadow first of all, and we find that, oh yes, it is a triangle. Let's look at the real object once again. No, now it's turned into a square. Something really strange happening here. Let's look at it one more time. Now watch carefully this time. There. Oh, it's back to a square again, isn't it? You're absolutely sure? Let's look at the real object. And no, now it's a circle. How can one solid object be a circle, a square, and a triangle all at the same time? Have I been switching objects? No, I haven't. It is possible to make a solid object that's all three. Square, triangle, and circle. In fact, you can make one of these yourself, starting with a piece of broomstick, if you like, and using a saw and some sandpaper. It's fun to make and it's also good because it helps you to make some shadow puzzles for your friends. Talking about shadow puzzles, if you're observant, when you walk down the street and into a room and through the house, you'll see shadow puzzles all around you. Here are some for you to have a look at right now. What's this first shadow? Well, that's easy, isn't it? It's a face on a wall in a cafe. Here's number two, a little more difficult. Strange curved lines. Shadows, certainly, but what are they shadows of? Now you can see it, can't you? Shadows of sand dunes. Here's another one. What do these shadows represent? Once again, as we go back and look at a wider shot, we can see that they are shadows of buildings, patterns of light and shade. Here's another one on the ground. It looks like another strange animal, doesn't it? What do you think? Perhaps a cat or a dog? No, it's not. It's actually a shadow of a house. It has that odd shape because the ground is uneven. And the last one, a very famous shadow, What's this? As we pull back, we see that it's one of the most famous shadows of all, the shadow of the astronaut Buzz Aldrin, who was one of the first two men to land on the moon many years ago. And the photograph was taken by Neil Armstrong, his partner. Keep your eyes open and I'm sure you'll discover many more shadow puzzles this week.